I love Edgina. Edgina is fantastic. It's, uh, in geological terms, it's what we would call a, a colluvial or an eluvial placer. Uh, very, very typical, classic. Uh, but these things are cheap as chips to mine. Uh, I own one of them in Montana in the US. I mine sapphires. I, I've got the largest saf uh, sapphire, um, it's sapphires and gold in uh, the largest mine in, in North America. And uh, I know what my costs are. Uh, and uh, I didn't bother uh, putting together a resource. It's a private company, so uh, you know I don't have to answer to the TSX or the uh, the ASX or any of the uh, the stock exchange. But I know, I know how much money you can make from these things. And and this is going to be like owning a bank. <laughs> That's right. I think and my microphone's off, but I'll no, talk a, a no, little it's on. Oh, it's on. Okay. Um, look. Uh, that's why we're excited. I think we can see very low costs around the, the gold at edge. And everybody's focused on gray. Look, to me, in a colluvial gold deposit, half gram to a gram, that came on. That's fantastic. <laughs> but uh, if any of you want to see an example of a mine like at edge, what I would encourage you to do, and I didn't, have, I didn't put it in the talk here. I meant to do it, but thought I'd run out of time. Go to Google Earth. Zoom in to the west coast of South Africa and Namibia from where the Orange River comes into the ocean, northward and even southward, you'll see hundreds of kilometers of ground that's been dug along the, the ocean, maybe one or two kilometers inland. That's the, the modern day terrace, just like we have at Edge, and it's colluvial uh, gold or lag gold, or, sorry, lag diamond. Right? All right, so they're mining diamonds there on the scale that we envision for Edgina. So if you want to see an analog, go to Namibia and you get a sense of what we're chasing. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dwayne. Right. Thank you.